Hi, my name is Molly Kimmel and I'm with the Cooperative Extension here in Walton County with the Nutrition Education Program. With the holiday seasons coming up, the last guest you want to invite is foodborne illnesses or food poisoning. And to tell you the truth, during the holiday seasons, we have a lot of that. Well, we need to remember four magic words. Clean, separate, cook, and chill. First of all, we want to prevent the bacteria from spreading. From, um, from what, so we need to make sure we wash our hands and wash the surfaces we're using. Second, raw meats should be kept away from any other food, like uncooked foods or anything like that. Uh, third, we want to make sure we kill the bacteria and cook all foods at the proper temperature. We want to make sure we keep hot foods hot, cold foods cold. Fourth, we want to make sure we refrigerate all of our cold foods. Make sure they're kept at the right temperature. And remember, when in doubt, throw it out. If you have something you're not really sure about, throw it out. We have a two-hour rule. Don't leave food out more than two hours on the table or out on the counter. We need to make sure we throw it away. Um, how can I keep this from happening? How can I keep the food point illnesses from coming to visit me on my holiday? We want to make sure we wash our hands. Wash our hands properly for 20 seconds. I've been doing this with the preschoolers this uh, in the last couple of months, teaching them how to make sure they wash their hands properly. We want to make sure we wash our hands Run the water on them, put soap, wash our hands with warm soapy water for at least 20 seconds. Then you can rinse them. All right, using, for your countertop, you want to sanitize that by using some type of bleach detergent, bleach uh, wash, such as you can take uh, a teaspoon of Clorox bleach or Clorox or bleach or whatever, and you can mix it with a gallon of water, and that will kill all the bacteria. Right. Uh, washing all of your utensils is very important using hot soapy water, put them in the dishwasher, making sure that they're cleaned properly. Um, cutting boards, make sure those are clean between every time you use your cutting board or your knife. Uh, we don't want anything to make our guests uh, sick for the holidays. Um, Especially when you're working with raw meats. If you're cutting, cutting on your cutting board with raw meats and you're using a knife or scissors or whatever, make sure that those are cleaned properly and sanitized before you use for the next item. Um, the proper temperature for cooking all of our food. We want to make sure that um, all of your beef is cooked at at least 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, if you're using maybe cooking a steak, make sure 145 degrees Fahrenheit. No cooler than that. And that means when you use your food thermometer, you're gonna place it in the meat and leave it in there for about three minutes and it holds that temperature steady. Um, wanna make sure that uh, all chicken, turkey, 165 degrees. Uh, we have a lot of brochures in our office. Right now we have the Be Safe Holiday Cooking and we also have our Be Safe that we keep in our office all the time. We want to make sure. And if you want to stop by and pick one up, that is fine. Come by and pick them up or call us and we'll help you with that. Um, if you're reheating, make sure that if you're reheating that your temperature gets up to 165 degrees. Um, if you're taking, I want to remind you too, if you're taking the temperature of your meat, of a turkey, I don't trust those little pop-up thermometers. So you might want to use your thermometer, put it in the thickest part of the turkey. When you think it's, it's been in there long enough, you follow the directions on the package and put this in there and check it. Make sure that it is at 165 degrees for about three minutes. Hold it in there. Okay, then for making sure that if we have cold foods, we want to make sure that they are kept. The refrigerator needs to stay between um, 33 and 40 degrees, so that lends you to know that you want to keep your cold foods between the same temperature. Uh, one thing that you can do is, if you're cooking soup or chili or anything like that, you've got to cool that down within two hours. There's no way. Don't take your crock pot, your 
things out of your crock pot and put those in the refrigerator, it'll never cool down within two hours. You want to take whatever you're cooking, whether it's in your crock pot or a big um, kettle, take it, put it in small shallow pans and put it in the refrigerator. You divide and conquer. Just remember that. You divide and conquer. And we don't want, we do not want any bad bacteria in our meat or in our food at all. So if you take it in small shallow containers, put it in the refrigerator where the air can get around it, you'll be fine. Within two hours, it should be down uh, as cool as the, as the refrigerator is. Now remember again, using that food thermometer, it's great. Also, you might want to pick up a refrigerator thermometer. One thing, we don't want our food going bad because the refrigerator thermometer or the, the temperature in the refrigerator is wrong. Um, again, 32, 33 to 40 degrees in your refrigerator and your freezer should be at zero degrees or colder. So if you'll just follow those, that'll be great. I also have with me, I always check, every once in a while, I'll check my oven. So I have an oven thermometer that I'll check things with. Um, warming dishes are fine. Crock pots are great because they're great for keeping things warm on the table or on your buffet. So crock pots or your simmering trays or whatever, but keep them plugged up and warm. Now, if you have something that's cool, you might want to try taking everything and put it in a smaller, put your smaller container in a larger container and put ice because we want to make sure that even our dips are kept cold. So um, that's one way we can keep them cold. When you're traveling, use your coolers. You can use these for cold foods, or you can put hot foods in there and keep everything in there hot, but don't mix them together. But put cold foods in one cooler, hot foods in another cooler. That works too. And remember, if you're in doubt about what you're serving, throw it out. And remember that two hour rule? Only leave food out on the table for two hours. Don't do like my grandmother did, and we would have lunch, put a sheet over the table, then we'd go out and play, come back for dinner, have dinner, and we'd all be sick the next day. My mother always said it was because it was just all the excitement, but now I know it, we were all we all had food poisoning or foodborne illnesses. So if we can remember the two-hour rule and clean, separate, cook, and chill, I think we'll have we will not be inviting those unwanted guests for a holiday dinner. And if you would like any of the brochures we have, feel free to stop by our office, 100 North Broad here in Monroe, or call us at 770-267-1324. And have a great holiday, a safe holiday.